Crafting Vicky here with you and today I'm here to do a garage sale haul but it's a huge one so I decided to remove my camera my usual camera from its usual spot and to just give you a little tour so I'm in my garage and this is where I do all my mixed media and this is where my new piece of furniture just got in so here is and hopefully I'm not making you too dizzy here is what I just purchased and uh, I'm not sure if okay. so it's super heavy metal so let me start with with this first of all I purchased three books at a garage sale this one this one and this one for the images and I paid a buck fifty for that then all the rest I'm going to be showing you I paid 40 bucks for it so I purchased this uh, it was filled up with all sorts of washers and and uh, and bolts and stuff like that and you can see it's still dirty um, but yeah it was filled up it's only missing a little drawer but I don't really care about that I just love it and it's uh, it's going to be perfect for uh, storing stuff I got this one which is pretty big it's got one thing missing here but I can probably find a little way to put a little drawer in there I might actually be able to do the same thing for the other one and this one is in metal and it was also filled up with with stuff and I've emptied it out uh, my husband hasn't been home yet so he hasn't seen that I've taken more space in his garage and these are the the miscellaneous parts that I'm left with which I don't know what they are the rest I've put away so that he doesn't know about it and uh, and I got this here which is two little uh, index card drawers and it's heavy metal as well so very uh, very heavy and uh, pretty big so I need to arrange that and then I've got all this bag of stuff so let's go through I'll um, I'll pause and I'll go through the regular setup so that it's easier for you guys to see. Okay, so I've moved you guys to uh, my table so I can share with you this huge bag. I'm going to put it aside because it, there's just so much in it. Um, so, as I said, I purchased all that stuff, um, including this big piece of furniture and if I include the books for forty-one fifty. So I think I made a huge, amazing deal. So I got this here, which is a crochet. Um, I think it's a crochet. Uh, huh, I've only got the French word in my uh, in my head. Tablecloth. Okay. And I was thinking that I could remove the um, the flowers and use them as embellishments. And it's just gorgeous and I know how long it takes to make something like this and uh, yeah so I would never I wouldn't uh, want to make those flowers but I'm thinking that this it's a bit uh, broken in different places so I'm not feeling as guilty uh, on using the flowers and I've been watching um, let's make a mess and she was saying how she used uh, she purchased some bunch of clothes from um, the thrift store and uh, destroy them basically to use the lace and I came across these uh, which are not in the best of shape um, but I really don't care because what I want is the trim and look at that trim isn't it amazing so I was super happy so I'm gonna remove the um, the cloth and I might use the cloth for something else uh, like making flowers and something like that because it's a nice beige so I can reuse it and here's another one Okay, then I got this one here, which is um, uh, a pillowcase, and it's broken, but look at that trim, it's beautiful. So I'm very, very excited about this. I got a bunch of different napkins, so I use, uh, I don't like using uh, paper, nap uh, paper napkins for uh, when we eat. I use the regular uh, napkins so we can wash it. I find that for the environment, it's better at least in my mind it's better so that's why 
I, I use them so we are always in need of new ones got this doily and then uh, and then I purchased this oh and the, this tiny little doily as well which I thought was super cute and then I found this which I thought would make a really cool uh, journal cover so it's that on this side and and that and it's a dish towel but I thought it was really fun and I love uh, weird stuff and my daughter thinks it's creepy this one but I love it I was so happy with it it says cucumbers and onion but look it's got a face I, I really really I'm super excited about it uh, feel like you guys are in the shadow I wonder if that's gonna help no not really so anyway that's uh, I thought was so nice so I love that and I got this other piece as well that I really really love and it's green and uh, this one is a uh, made in USA and uh, it says 33 and I've got a feeling that it's pretty old so you guys might know this uh, this brand I have no clue what it is but I just love the shape of it and I thought it was very pretty so I purchased that I don't tend to purchase a lot of uh, that stuff because uh, I don't need more dishes and stuff but that those two pieces I love green and so that was fitting I got this which had two packs of uh, playing cards in it so fun and then I came across these three thins I was hesita hesitant but after I saw that the guy was making a deal for the whole for a bunch of stuff different together I figured I I should take them and as you know I love tins so these are going to be useful for putting whatever in it and then I purchased a bunch of different books so I got this one which is uh, Dick Francis and it's a beautiful uh, it's a beautiful book but look at the and I just thought this would make a great journal and then I found the outline of history HG Wells and um, and look it's red it's pretty cool and the paper looks old uh, and has some drawings in it and so I got that one and then when I went downstairs I found the second one so I got both of those and then I got this one which is the nun's story and I thought that tr that was beautiful the it's really old I think it looks like it's been it's old it's 1956 so yeah pretty old and uh, it's seen uh, better days but which is why I don't feel so guilty in uh, using it for my makes and then I found this which is towers in the mints and I thought it was very cool very beautiful uh, cover again I came across this which I thought was so fun it's men and machines and has all kinds of different illustrations in it but I got it for the cover because let's be honest it's awesome and uh, let's put this back and then I made I found three other things that I was so excited about this is a new parade for girls it's this huge book it's a really big book and uh, has illustrations in it but I just love the cover I thought it was so fun and uh, yeah so I was really really happy with it it has different illustrations in it and then uh, I found this, which is Cool Friends, annual 1966. So, and it has retro pictures and some comics and stuff. And to me, that was just perfect for uh, during journaling. So, got that. And then they had the girls' annual, which. 
is really retro as well. And again, you've got different pictures and stuff. So I thought that was fun. And uh, finally, but not least, I got this, which is the Cars Annual. And uh, it's really fun too. It's a bit broken on the spine, but uh, other than that, it's it's good. It's seen uh, better days, but yeah. So very very excited about these spines. So hope you like this all. If you do, please do give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave comments down below. I love reading them, and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye, folks.